Hello, how to solve for x in this equation, a to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 24. Solution. We have 8 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 24. Now, 8 to the power of x can be written as 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 2. 2 to the power of x is equal to 24. Take note of this that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m n. Then this can be written as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus these two to the power of x is equal to 24. Then this is 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of x. Here is minus 24 is equal to 0. Let 2 to the power of s is equal to y. Then here will be y to the power of 3 minus y minus 24 is equal to 0. Now, this 24 can be written as 27 minus 3. And this is equal to 24. So let's replace. We have y to the power of 3 minus y. Then minus bracket 27, 24 is 27 minus 3 is equal to 0. Then this is y to the power of 3 minus y minus 27 plus 3 is equal to 0. Now let's compare this with this and this with this. We have y to the power of 3 minus 27 then this is minus y minus this 3 is equal to 0 then we have y to the power of 3 minus 27 can be written as 3 to the power of 3 minus here is y minus 3 is equal to 0 take note of this that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square. Then this can be written as y minus 3 bracket y square plus 3y plus 3 square minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Then y minus 3 is common here. Let's bring it out. Here we have y minus 3 bracket y square plus 3y plus 9. Then here is minus 1 is equal to 0. And we have y minus 3 bracket y square plus 3y. 9 minus 1, that will be plus 8, is equal to 0. And there are two cases here. The first case is y minus 3 is equal to 0. And the second case is y square plus 3y plus 8 is equal to 0. Then from here, y is equal to 
theory. And from here, this is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. Y is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC over 2A. And from this equation, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 3, C is equal to H. Then y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c is 8 over 2 multiplied by 1 y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 8, that is 32 over 2. y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 32, that is minus 23 over 2. Then y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 23 can be written as square root of 23 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 then y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 1 is i we have i root 23 over 2. Therefore, our final answers are y1 is equal to 3, y2 is equal to minus 3 plus i root 23 over 2 and y3 is equal to minus 3 minus i root 23 over 2. Now you can see that we have y1 as the only raised root, then y2 is complex root, and then y3 is also a complex root. But recall that we have 2 to the power of x is equal to y, then 2 to the power of s is equal to 3. Now let's take the log of both sides. Then we have log. 2 to the power of x is equal to log 3. Then, if you have log p to the power of m, this is equal to m log p. And this can be written as s log 2 is equal to log 3. Then, let's divide both sides of this equation by log 2. This divided by log 2 and this is divided by log 2. This will cancel this. S is equal to log 3 over log 2. Therefore, S is equal to log 3 base 2. And this is the final answer. We can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. Let's check. To check, we have the given equation a to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 24. Then this is a to the power of x can be written as we have 2 to the power of 3 
to the power of x is log 3 base 2 minus 2 to the power of log 3 base 2 must be equal to 24. Now this can be written as we have 2 to the power of log 3 to the power of 3 base 2 minus 2 to the power of log 3 base 2 must be equal to 24. Now here is 2 to the power of log 3 to the power of 3 that is 27 base 2 minus 2 to the power of log 3 base 2 must be equal to 24. Then take note of this that if you have p to the power of log q base p this is equal to q. Therefore the whole of this is 27 minus the whole of this is 3 must be equal to 24. Now 27 minus 3 that is 24 is equal to 24 which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye.